The farmer and rancher delegates at the 100th annual convention set the organization's policy priority for the upcoming year. Topics include farm bill implementation, cell cultured food products, trade, and much more. As the organization has done for the last 100 years, grassroots delegates from across the nation came together to express a unified voice on issues vital to the success of our farmers and ranchers and rural communities. That coming from Farm Bureau President Zippy Duval. The World Trade Organization will soon rule in favor of the United States in a long-standing dispute with China. The U.S. says Chinese government subsidies it gives to corn and rice growers are the violation of WTO rules. Politico says the confidential ruling was shown in interested parties before Christmas. The ruling could be released to the public sometime in late February, when China and the U.S. will hopefully be in the final stages of trade talks. It's also possible the ruling will be out in early March. Well, a bill proposed in the last session of Congress has surfaced once again in this session, specifically in the House of Representatives. The bill is designed to make electronic logging devices and hours of service regulations friendlier to those who transport livestock. The legislation called the Transport of Livestock Across America Safety Act. Another province in China is now infected with African swine fever. A pork checkoff report says that there are now 24 distinct areas in China that have tested positive for the disease. China is requiring their slaughterhouses to run testing for the virus on pig products before they're allowed to sell them to market. Slaughterhouses from slaughter pigs from different areas separately. And they can only sell products if the blood from that same batch of pigs tests as negative for ASF virus. A new regulation will go into effect on February 1st, requiring the slaughterhouses to suspend operations and disinfect if there's a positive test. I'm Susan Littlefield on the Rural Radio Network. This is Mike. Mike likes his car. Mike likes to save money. And Mike likes to breathe. So Mike fills up with E15 with 15% American ethanol. The clean octane in E15 gives Mike the performance he wants from his engine and the clean air he wants for his family. Better yet, E15 costs less at the pump. Higher octane, cleaner air, lower cost. E15 sure gives Mike a lot to like. Discover E15 with American ethanol.